me to seize the moment and don't squander it. Cause you never know when it all could be over them all, so I keep pondering. Sometimes I wonder when it starts on. Wasn't ready to be no millionaire. I was ill prepared. I was prepared to be ill, though. The skill was there. What's up, guys? Full Metal Sorcerer here, and I'm joined by my friend. Cordo Dragon. And today we have another top five list, and this time we're going to be talking about the top five most underrated schools in Wizard 101. Alright, so the first underrated school in Wizard 101 is the School of Moon. Moon! Yes, an astral school, which was added uh, a few years ago, I think 2012, when Celestia was added. And here's the thing about the School of Moon. Because the effects from the spells are not seen as upfront like other schools, in the, uh, in the astral category, such as the sun and the star with the enchantments and the auras, it is sort of disregarded when it comes to its spells. But if you think about some of the things that the great spells that it provides, such as Polymorph Jaguar and the new shift spells from Chrysalis, some of the best ones being the fire one with the DOT, the uh, myth one that removes all Sorry, skills. I, I see you wrecking your school right there. I see you wrecking <laughs> No, no bias, no, okay, maybe a little, maybe a little bias. Uh, but yeah, like, the shift spells are pretty good, and I'm gonna hand it over to Dragon and ask him, you know. Um, uh, yeah. Basically what he said, school is, I mean, school. Moon is very underrated. School, school, coming <laughs> soon. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Moon is very underrated, and it does provide some good spells, for example, like, what he said, if only more Jack or, or, um, I think, is that Star or Moon? That's Moon, that's Moon. Gargantuan. Gar oh no, that's, that's, they see, that's why it's not seen as a good school. Foreshadowing! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Moon is very underrated. Right. That's really all I have to say. Let's move on. Now, our second underrated school is Death. Now, Death, people, people will totally forget about Death, even though it is basically like a storm and a life combined. It can do everything that life can do, it can heal, and it can attack in the same round. For example, if a Death casts, for example, Scarecrow, and they, they attack the enemy and they get healed, basically that's like a life casting rebirth, but you get the job done quicker by attacking. Now, I think Death is very good for, like, Dark Moon runs, or Morganth runs, or any type of big bosses. Basically, a good, a good team. You, you, next time you have a team to do, like, Monster, or Morganth, or anything like that, make sure you have a Death, because it can take place for life if you don't have one, or it can do things, it can do more advanced things that life can do. And that's it. Alright, so number three on our list is the School of Myth. Now, Myth is a school that, to me, is very underrated, and I don't understand why. If you really think about Myth and compare it to some of the other schools, the spells themselves are similar to Fire, the School of Fire, or the School of Storm, when it comes to what uh, type of spells they are. They have a lot of um, AOVs with Earthquake, Mongo Frog, and Mystic Colossus. And the after effects aren't quite bad either, especially with Earthquake. We all know that struggle. Uh, Mystic Colossus, pretty much another Earthquake with just more damage. And, yeah, the struggle is very real. <laughs> and um, even the new spell, which is House Call, that summons a minion. And it does like 1400 damage with an enchant. Come on, Myth is like ridiculously OP, and if you really give them a shot, I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy their school. Oh, and let me give a shout out to their colors, blue and yellow. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so the next school on our list is Ice. Now, there's some things that can make Ice a bad school, but there's some things that can make it quite good. Now, first thing about Ice, it has obviously a lot of health, and obviously a lot of resistance. Now, that's great, like, when I say when I was talking about death, that's great for when you're going for, like, wrong runs, like Malister or Morgan, because you can have a, t a good tank. And, um, it also, it also has great spells, like, for example, like... Oh, it stuns a lot of, it's, usually it's stunned and it does great DOTs. Um, for example, Snow Angel, that's a D, that's a DOT and it, for some, for some reason, taunts, really, really, really nice, what, taunting, what, 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 why, 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 
I'm, I'm sorry. But, anyways, what it does do, stun, that could be great, like, right when I'm about to play the boss. And they're about to cast a spell that will kill you in three seconds. Or maybe if one, if they're ruthless. But, um, yeah, that's really it for ice. Choose it. Or we'll be your friends. Finally on our list at number five, we have the School of Fire. Now the School of Fire is my uh, main school for my highest exalted wizard. Uh, highest exalted, that makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, for my wizard, and um, I love the School of Fire. I'm not biased or anything, but to be honest, Fire has really, really fallen behind in the race. If you think about it, Fire used to be uh, considered as powerful, or almost as powerful as Storm. And death, and it used to be up there with the with the um with the uh with the elite, yeah, with the elite schools. And now it's sort of just looked at as the eh, we don't have a storm. I guess we'll take you kind of school. Uh, but if you think about the things that fire can do, they can you know do two thousand damage with a meteor strike, um, with an enchanted meteor strike and a critical. Raging bull is our new spell, and we've got. A buff on that from 500 damage to 800 damage to 7 to 900 damage that does 1200 damage with an enchant. And if you critical, you do 3000 damage, which is almost as much as a glow bug. You get the point, blah blah blah. And it gives a smoke screen. We also have a free, which gives a 90% weakness. Fire from above, we all know what that is about. Fire is a very underrated school with very, very uh, top notch spells. So that does it for our list. We uh, thank you for taking a look at this long video. And subscribe! Yes, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. <laughs> especially, especially to Full Metal Dragon, my friend. And uh, yeah, we will have more videos coming soon. Oh, and the intro music and outro music will be in the link. I mean, the links will be in the description as well as the link to yeah. Full Metal Dragon's channel. Uh, yeah, lots of errors are made in this video, but who cares? Subscribe. The will be in the links. <laughs> Goodbye.